Hi everyone, I'm David Zito, and welcome to my channel. We'll talk about how to make... Hi everyone, I'm David Zito. Welcome to my channel. This is Odin, my son, and in this channel, we'll talk about how to improve our home and do DIY projects. My wife Blair and I are first time homeowners, first time parents, and first time YouTubers. We wanted to document all of our projects just so that we can have something to look back on for us and for our little one once he gets older. As you can see, we are learning as we go. Obviously, we're not experts, far from it. We know we're gonna make a lot of mistakes, but we're here to learn. To start off, we wanted to convert our garage into a workshop. It's currently used for storage, but eventually we want to keep all of our tools and materials in here. It's a bit of a mess right now, but this is only the first step in our home improvement journey. Our garage comes with white walls, but we wanted to give it a little more character, so we decided to go with a dark color. It's called Silver Fox by Valspar, and we picked up two gallons from Lowe's. It was enough to cover the three and a half walls in our one car garage. Some of the good things about having a paint roller is that the roller frame and foam are typically inexpensive. It can be applied evenly to a large area as long as the surface is flat. More on that later. Since you can see the edges of the roller, you can apply paint more precisely and know exactly where the paint will go. And finally, I think the best part of using a paint roller is the ability to attach a pole to reach the higher areas. This is the part where I figured out, depending on the surface that you're dealing with, it's not always a good idea to use a paint roller. First of all, if your surface is not flat, you'll have an uneven coverage, just like the cinder block wall. And because of that, it requires more coats of paint, which drives up the cost. And finally, because of the little pinholes and crevices, it took a lot more effort to get that covered up. The one thing I learned throughout this process is how important prep work is, and give yourself enough time to move things around to give you an area to work with. Now let's talk about the spray gun. This is the one I use for our garage. I'll link the item in the description below. When we were using the spray gun, we weren't keeping track of how much paint we were using, but it did feel like we were using less overall. When the spray gun's cleaned properly, it can be reused over and over again. Unlike a paint roller, where you have to use a different one when you use a different color. The spray gun also provides an even coverage to any surface area. On top of that, it worked perfectly over the cinder block wall to get into the crevices and pinholes. So some of the reasons why it's not a good idea to use a spray gun is number one, there's a lot of overspray. It will get onto adjacent surfaces such as the ceiling or the floor, which is why you'll need a lot of prep work to mask off all the areas that you don't want paint to get on. This also means that there is a lot of cleanup afterwards once you're done painting. Even though a spray gun is more cost effective in the long run, it does have a higher initial cost. So if you're looking to paint small areas, a paint roller might be better. And finally, the spray gun can only reach as far as the length of your arm. If you want to reach higher places, you're going to need a ladder. Having a good set of lights is so important in a workshop. The ones we got here are also from Amazon. I'll link the item in the description below. Here. The lights we got had the ability to daisy chain to one another, which was a good thing because our garage only had one outlet. We ended up routing our extension cord up the wall, across the ceiling, and connecting the first light fixture. A neat little trick I picked up was to use tape on the back of the light fixture, mark where the mounting holes are, and simply drill through the markings. I repeated the same process for all four light fixtures. This is our painted garage workshop. We have done just some slight organizing, but we're gonna have a lot of upcoming projects to make this place more efficient. Yeah, we're gonna add a miter saw. We're gonna put up a pegboard to put all of our tools on, and we'll even have storage up in the ceiling. It'll be a lot more functional. 
We'll probably be adding a lot more videos and projects along the way, especially as we learn how we're gonna function in this space. Okay, so if you wanna support us, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Also, feel free to leave us comments and suggestions below. We'd love to hear what you have to say. So, catch you in the next video. Take care. Bye.